Okay, gonna do a quick video intro here to Drachman A since I can't be here this afternoon. Uh, Brandon, I've left you a key in this little lock box here. Combo is one, one, two, six. One, one, two, six. Then you push the lever here and you kind of have to pop the door open. Keys right in there for you. Like that. Give you a quick rundown on things that I've already documented that uh, will need to be repaired. Uh, I've installed new window blinds. The prior tenant uh, was supposed to do that, but did not. So they have mostly new window blinds. There is one shade that she left. Uh, so don't let that concern you. <laughs> but I did want to point out this window I discovered was broken today. Uh, it must have been broken in between when I did my walkthrough with the prior tenant a week ago and today. Uh, I've called a glass company, but I'm not going to be able to get that repaired for you until next week. So I just taped it up real good so it doesn't get cold air coming in. Okay, just quickly documenting uh, issues that I know you will not be accountable for. Uh, there is a little bit of water damage under the sink here from a previous leak that we had. There's also just a little bit of water damage in here under this sink. Same deal. The leaks have been fixed, but there was a little bit of damage. And I won't hold you accountable for that. Put in a new shower curtain for you. Got everything cleaned up. I've checked water flow and everything. Recocked a little bit. Uh, caulking came separated behind the sink there, but everything's working good. One quick note, your valves are reversed in the bathroom. So the right hand valve is the hot water, not the left like normal. Uh, so don't let that throw you off. I did check the water heater's working. You're getting good hot water. Just a quickie to, to work the range. It's pretty easy. You can see on the symbols here, it'll tell you which burner. So this is the left front burner, left rear, right rear and right front burners. To work the oven, if you want to bake something, you start by pushing the bake key It'll default to 350 degrees, or you can increase or decrease the temperature here. All right, let me stop that. So bake, so you can increase the temp or decrease, and then you push start and it'll start preheating and it'll tell you what the temperature is until it gets up to your temp. I have checked everything and it is uh, working. The oven heated up and the burners worked. When you're done, you wanna turn, cancel, turn off here, and then it'll go back to the clock. All right, lights up here. I changed out a bunch of light bulbs. You got a good light. Exhaust fan is working. Okay, uh, put new batteries in the carbon monoxide and, and smoke detectors for you uh, in there. Your light switch in the bedroom is over here right against the wall. This turns on, oops, excuse me, turns on your two lights in here, this bottom switch. The other two switches, this switch is just a dead switch that isn't used for anything anymore. This is an exterior light switch. Your controller for the uh, heater AC is right here on the wall. All right, you can see up there, it's got a little readout on the face of it. You can see the little red light through the thing. When you push your button on the controller here, it, it'll power up. You got a little that. Going up, you change the mode here. And if you look on the screen to the left, see that's recirculating fan only. That's air conditioning, the little snowflake. Oh, that's dehumidifier, the little water drops there to the left. And that's fan only. And then heater is the sun at the bottom. And you can adjust the temp up and down. Okay. You just turn it off right here with that same button. You can see the little closes up for you. I double checked your refrigerator's up and running. You got ice, a little bit of ice in the bottom here. It's nice and cold in the freezer and in your fridge. So everything's functioning properly there. That should do the trick pretty good for you. Just wanted to show you one more thing. I cleared all the aerators at the tips of the faucets. We've got really old pipes here and these little aerators get clogged up right at the tip of the faucets. So if you notice your water flow slowing down a lot, all you have to do, you can just grab this with your fingers and just, you can just unthread the thing. It'll screw right out. Just this little tip, all right? And you can see there's already getting to be a little bit of debris in there again. Really old pipes. 
just rinse it out a little bit and then uh, you'll get good flow again. Same thing happens in the uh, sink. It's just you know, a little bit of rust and stuff coming off the really old pipes here in this building that was built in the 1930s. See, I'm leaving you one key in the lockbox and then I left you my cool old uh, key of my own just so you had two keys there with the, uh, the Day of the Dead emblem on it. So right there at the sink, you got a second key. Um, all right, Brandon, that should cover your bases. Uh, sorry I can't be here to meet you today, uh, but everything is ready to go for you. Enjoy your apartment. And uh, just if you notice something that's wrong, there is a built-in grace in your lease that gives you a couple of days to snap a picture or something and send it to me if you find something that's not right. Uh, and then I won't uh, uh, count it against your deposit when you move out. Thanks. Talk to you soon, Brandon. Bye.